Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Today we're starting a new book of the Bible. Actually, we're starting the very first book of the Bible. Um, we're going to be starting the book of Genesis today. <clears throat> Genesis is probably, um, most people, when they start reading the Bible, they start with Genesis and they get, you know, a good portion of the way through it until the genealogies and maybe they'll get a few ways through several books. They'll go through Genesis, they'll get through Exodus, then they get to Leviticus and they're like, oh man, this is, this is tough. Um, but so Genesis is probably the one of the, the most uh, read when, when you want to read the Bible. Um, but it's, let me tell you a little bit about it. This is today just kind of an introduction to the book of Genesis. We're kind of getting an overview of Genesis so you know when we go verse by verse through Genesis what we're talking about here. Okay, so Genesis, um, it was written by Moses, okay? And so um, it, it was either told to Moses by the Holy Spirit or it, it was written down and then Moses wrote those same things down. Um, so Moses, the books of Moses, or also called the Pentateuch, is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Okay, those are the, the five books of, Je of Moses. Um, and they all have that same style. Uh, um, so you can, kind of, you can tell he is the author, and it concludes with him dying, and you're like, oh, wait, wait a minute, how, how does he write about his death? Well, most likely Joshua um, concluded uh, that book for, for Moses, because um, then it's very similar as the way Joshua starts his book. Okay, so um, anyway, that's the, the, that's who wrote uh, the book of Genesis. Let me talk about the division of the book. Um, Genesis is basically uh, two separate sections. Uh, that's an easy way for us to, to define it. Chapters 1 through 11 um, deal with uh, creation, the fall of man, um, and uh, the flood, the Tower of Babel. Those events, okay? When we get to the, the chapters beyond chapter 11, that is dealing with the patriarchs of, uh, you know, Abraham and, and his son, the grandson, and so forth, okay? Um, so that's what it's dealing with. It's dealing with people specifically in those last sections. So we're going to divide it up that way. But what I wanted you to see is this. The first 11 chapters deal with at least 2,000 years, probably a little bit more. But, it's, but don't get that wrong idea that it's thousands and thousands of years. Okay, that's what a false teaching that's been going on for a while here is that the, the you know, beginning of Genesis is um, thousands and millions of years and all this crazy stuff. It was probably a minimum of 2,000 years for this, um, those chapters 1 through 11. But then, uh, then after that, okay, the, from, you know, chapter 12 on, it's about 350 years. Okay, and to give you a, a better picture of it, it's probably 2,000 years, including those 350 years, all the way up through Jesus. Okay, so you could say, technically, that if you've read Genesis 1 through 11, um, you've read half of the Bible in the time period, because that's 2,000 years plus, okay? And then it's another 2,000 years you know, starting with Abraham and going all the way through, all the way up to Jesus, okay? And to give you an idea, from the time of Jesus to today is uh, 2,021 years, all right? Um, so that gives you a, a better idea of the time frame uh, with this. Um, and then also the theme of the book. And I'm using a lot of different reference materials when I talk about this. I'm trying to to make it so it, it's easy to understand for just basic guys like me um, and not to get too technical uh, with it because there's there's a, a tons of good uh, material written on it. Um, I uh, Books I use is, um, of course, um, J. Vernon McGee's books. Um, uh, this book here is uh, an awesome book, but uh, and it's called the Genesis record and I'm going to refer to that tomorrow and it's written by Henry Morris Okay, who is 
Uh, he only wrote two, uh, two books regard that are commentaries on the Bible, really. The Genesis record and the Revelation record. He's not coming at it uh, from a theologian uh, standpoint. He's coming at it from a scientist standpoint. He was a scientist, and so he's coming at it from that viewpoint. All right. And then um, another one I have here is Adventuring Through the Bible with Ray Steadman. All right. And the theme of the book, it, and I'm getting this uh, from Ray Steadman. He, he wrote this here. It says this, um, the theme is human beings are inadequate without God. That's the whole theme of the book. Human beings are inadequate without God. You're going to see that plays out all the way through. You know, when we talk about the first 11 chapters and then um, going all the way uh, through the patriarchs, um, that human beings are inadequate without God. They're going to try and do stuff on their own. Okay. And it's, it fails. All right. So I, I close with that today just because I want to keep this uh, uh, somewhat brief here. That human beings are inadequate without God. And that is the theme of Genesis. And you're going to see that play out um, all the way as we go through it. So thanks for watching as we are. Or this is the first episode of Genesis. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our study through the book of Genesis. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.